Hey everybody, it's Bishop Barron. I'm standing here in the churchyard of St. Martin's Church in Bladen, just outside of Blenheim Palace. I visited Blenheim Palace this morning. That's the house of the Marlboro family, but it's, for our purposes, interesting because Winston Churchill was born there in 1874. And I'm standing here now at the grave of Winston Churchill. You can hear behind me, I think Churchill would have liked this. It's a, a schoolyard and the kids are playing and I think he would have probably gotten a kick out of that. Um, you know, Churchill's own religious uh, convictions are, uh, you know, a bit ambiguous. Um, but I think the great thing about him from a religious standpoint is he intuited, I think, the really enduring values of what he unabashedly called Christian civilization. And at the decisive moment when the most demonic force of the last, you know, several hundred years emerged, Churchill knew it was time to stand up to it. So his resistance to the Nazis throughout the 30s and then, of course, in the Great War years um, represented Christian civilization's stand against this very demonic power. And for that reason, I think anyone who loves Christian Catholic civilization uh, owes a great debt of gratitude to Winston Churchill. So he's been a, a hero of mine for a long time just as a, an interesting political figure. But I think we can also acknowledge him as an important spiritual figure in the 20th century because of the stand he took at this um, absolutely decisive moment. So I said a prayer for him here. Maybe say a prayer for uh, Winston Churchill. God bless you.